What's up, YouTube? How are we all doing today? Whoa, what the? Okay. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. So, checking the clock. So, I'm going to do, I got some past reviews I got to do, and I'm getting started of the day. First up, so we're still trying to find his brother. I've had no luck in that. <laughs> it definitely shows on this. That uh, being, run, make sure I got the right name here. Runabout. From the Transformers Earthrise. <sighs> but I, guess I never did see his brother. I don't think I've actually. Well, I did see Trailbreaker from that set. From that wave, and that's the only one I saw. I did see Fast Track, but at the time, I was I saw Trailbreaker and wanted to get my very first three Transformers in new molds. So far, I've got two. Just waiting on one. That's being jazz. And I think next time I see a restock, I might go ahead and buy. So I'll keep the other one and get my very first, finally get a freaking Toy Hex set. Anyway, on the runabout. And it was Target exclusive. And yeah, Target exclusive. You know how those were. But you act, don't act like a jerk. I was able to talk to somebody. He went and got it. And I was all there was to it. Ah, oh, man, it's not. There we go. That's better. And I was able to get it. Talk about that pat what was a pop finder yeah i think that's one mentioned it to him said they showed some he went back in the back got it of course i feel bad because now i haven't seen that guy anymore in the store does that say something about target right there and our exclusives i think it does but anyway so packaging you got the earth rise artwork there nice shot of their roundabout Runabout, runabout, not roundabout. <laughs> it almost makes you want to say that though. The color wise looks really good. I haven't had a good look at that yet until just now. Hmm. Almost, what is that back there? Something right back there, just a little bit from his leg, or on my side here where my head is. Like right there, trying to figure out what this is here. It looks like something, but anyway. It's got that, and if you're still looking, there's UPC code. Hopefully that focuses in on you for you. So if you get that in focus, pause it now, and get it written down. Yeah, one of the figures I'm waiting to get. I'm actually glad I got it, and then of course now I can't find his brother. you got to have both these guys. You can't have just one. <laughs> but this is my first time checking out this mold. I think it is... I don't know if it's an all new mold or not. I've heard tales. It's kind of like a uh, different version of Wheeljack's mold, but might be wrong. But give me a second here to open it up and we'll check them out. Okay, back and yeah, that's uh, <laughs> my, I can't get fully connected, but you know. Mess around first time transforming off camera, so yeah, in the bot mode, yeah, it looks good though. I mean, I can see, oh, see. <laughs> a lot of tabbing things still be done, but yeah, this is car mode. I know I can do a little bit better. I just go practice it a little bit more. You can kind of get the gist. It beats the old style one where all you do is just push it back and let it go, and it pops up and transforms for itself. But I like it. So he comes with his instruction manual, which is actually really well illustrated, and you get basically all the steps there. Got right round back in here in the back, trying to get that's the next where I had me a little trouble, as you can see. So getting, mainly that's the main step is getting everything to connect, and mine just have one little area right. There, I can get it, but one side wants to and the other side doesn't. So somehow I think I got an arm twisted or something. Yeah. And bottom, we got the faux chest. There is translute, but it looks good. I mean, you don't have, you can't see down in there thanks to that hood or the windshield anyway. That does look pretty good. I know mine's a little off in some areas. Got just a little bit of retooling everything to connect it's the hard part yeah somewhere I know it but yeah you'll see when I go back transformation and it got his weapon which does come two blasters I think brown run amok 
only has one. You can see the back, so you can do it either way. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it works. And for weapon stores, you can do that. But that does look weird. <laughs> you know, if you really think about it, it does also remind me of the uh, G.I. Joe Transformers second storyline. Actually, sides, wait. Had a car very similar to that. Oh, I forgot one other item that came with this. And yeah, the wasted Hasbro said, we want to cut back on our packaging. And quit putting this in everything. It's just the same thing. Warning, small parts. Many different languages all over. That's, that's going to be a recycle bin. And we did get a map piece, which, yeah, that's going in the recycling as well, because there's really nothing there. This is a void of empty space. <laughs> so let's go ahead. You know, I think the spot line is off somewhere. I think the week. Whoop. Okay, where'd it go? I always gotta land where I can't get to it. <laughs> so, yeah. The wheels are supposed to go up underneath. And I think mine are just a little bit off. It doesn't show a picture how it's supposed to be underneath either in the packaging, but no, it does show them there. So yeah, I still just gotta practice my steps on it. Yeah, it's done pretty good. It has a double exhaust. I don't think you guys will be able to see that though because of my lighting. Right there, double exhaust right there. I forget what he's supposed to be. I know one was like a... One's a Firebird and the other was a must. I want to say a Mustang. Between these two, I cannot remember. And Patriot Prime is one I gotta go back and watch. I'm trying to remember which one of these two got eaten by a monster on Cybertron. <laughs> uh, there, what? See, one side connects, the other side does not. That's my issue I've been having. So, anyway, there he goes. It does look pretty good, though. But you get, it, you can get everything to connect at one time. So, on the transformation, I'm trying to remember what the very first step I did was. <laughs> Basically, you unattach the top here. It will loosen up. Get the wheels folded in early if you want to. Like that. And do the arms. That was one of the harder things I was trying to figure out. That might have been where I messed up. I might not have them turned exactly right. This here goes up and down. So there's your back already. So already he's almost close to that mold. <laughs> the old thing pop open the fake chest which is actual robot chest and you can pull out his head you can get in there pretty good it's hard to do when your hands are in a bad shape like mine are right now kind of stuck in there too come on uh, let's see get these out of the way again Oh, it's got to be something when you're on live camera, right? So it went in just fine earlier. There we go. Pop that, bring that up. Bring that chest piece back. Pop that down. And get, and get that back up. I think it's just on the hang there. Oh, there's a... I thought there was a section that goes there. Hope I didn't break it. That was actually very snug, though, when I did the other. So, we're going to go ahead and bring the fake wheels down and there he goes <laughs> actually that's more like a homage to the original toy it's had those back wheels it would just be rolling <laughs> but no that's not how he has so take the legs bring those up or get the feet out just extend So there he goes. Hmm. Oh wait, the uh, brain fart. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. I get his hands out of there and I said, ow. Damn. Like I said, I got <laughs> my hands are scratched up with the winter weather. 
come on. I'll button use the gun again. Right, really get in there. There we go. That's working. There we go. Let's get his hands out. Those are folded in there. Got like right, right down. God, I forgot it's black on black and I got all these shadows. So let's see. Get that rotated just right. Bring it in. Cut all my nails back, so I'm gonna be scratching the hell out of myself either. So there he goes, his arms. I thought the shoulder was locked in place, but nope. Let's try to get him just right. Because his knees, are, he's, got a, he's got an odd double knee. I'll be also warning you about that. Oh man. Did I just bust that open? <laughs> so he can. Uh, and here he is in robot mode, and he can double weld his gun, but uh, I found a little pose I actually like. Get it done up right here. I thought the feet locked, but I guess not. And there he goes in robot mode. And he does look really good, I'll be honest and say that right now. As you can see he does have ankle pivot. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. He looks really good. I know black. And that, let's see, get some of that light. Let's see a light. I thought he had some light piping in there, but no. It would have been nice if he did, because that would go right through those eyes. See his face? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'd rather have one normal type of double handed gun. But if you don't want to do that, you can just. And you can go. Pew pew pew! Those <laughs> feet now oh, stay up. So there he goes there. Now, articulation wise, his head is all ball joint. Oh, I don't really know. You can go left to right, but not. Well, you can look up that way, but I can't really look down. Look up. Arms can can do a 360. Oh, and not exactly. They do get caught. So almost a 360. It does have bicep swivel, elbow joint goes about that far, and no wrist, but a wrist swivel. It does have a hip or waist swivel. You can do it a Van Damme. You can kick forward that high. Almost looks like a back just about that far. Does have a very weird knee bend. You can do that, and then you can also get it just right. <laughs> bend that way. Does that back acting up again on me again? And as I showed, foot can go like so. Not much forward, but he does have a ankle pivot, and that's it for his articulation. He's a pretty good figure i like the update i love the little homage to the old toy i thought though somehow the instructions it showed something like you could hide those it doesn't look too bad now we go i might do something kind of shelf for sure now toy x i think might could be doing a night rider set for this pretty easily <laughs> actually i wouldn't mind seeing them redo it but i would uh figure out a way on that one to get rid of the wheels He's actually a pretty good figure and worth it, but I definitely have to say, if you get run about, you definitely have to have run amuck in your collection. Because they're the run about twins, and there's one big whole comic book issue. They come to Earth, and they basically do all this stuff. <laughs> Put up Cybertron and spray paint on, like, Mount Rushmore and everything. Then they get down to the Statue of Liberty and put on humans or wimps. So, yeah, there's that, too. <laughs> That's what these guys were, a little bit of... Messes up, and I think Circuit Breaker shows up. The one human character is, has a mad on against all of them, but for some reason, he kills and kills off Autobots. The actual guys are actually doing good, and she lets the Decepticons get away. I think it's because Starscream must have programmed it into her or something. I can't remember if it actually said that, but yeah. But if you do, if you can find him, definitely pick him up. But if you can get his brother as well, run amok, you have to have them both. 
I was going to wait and get it, but yeah, I decided I got to get this guy reviewed as well. If you saw the layer of dust I had on there, and I feel terrible about that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Check out the description below for other links. I'm trying to go back through and update everybody because I know a lot of them have hit their goals and have gone on from there. But it's been hard <laughs> trying to remember everybody's site. <clears throat> Check out the playlist where they might be. Be kind to one another. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Plus one extra thing. Do like Ozzy says in one song. Learn how to love. Begin how to hate. And another song. Because deep inside we're all the same. I'll catch you all next time.